Hey everybody, uh, so I started working on this new deck. I just thought of it today. I was just I was at work, just you know, brainstorming, and I uh, came up with this. So I was trying to think of a deck that has all the strengths of Lantern but none of the weaknesses. So this is what I came up with: uh, Chalice of the Void, Crucible, uh, Snaring Bridge, Mistress Bobble, Opal. Um, we got our lands: Urborg, Ghost Quarter for the Crucible. Um, <clears throat> Dark Steel Citadel to help turn on Opal with, along with Mistress Bobble so I can try to get a turn one Chalice uh, or a turn two Crucible or Bridge or Liliana which there's four of there and them in there um, and then Smallpox and Collective Brutality are both very good against uh, like Burn or uh, uh, what's it called uh, Infect or whatever uh, and Smallpox is also pretty good against Tron and then three Infernal Tutor. It seems weird, but you go Hellbent really quick in this uh, with this deck because you drop your hand really fast. And then along with Collective Brutality and Liliana, uh, you, yeah, you drop your hand fast. Um, and so I was trying to figure out the win con. So far, I'm right now I'm trying three Liliana's con uh, Caress and one Ink Moth Nexus. Uh, Nexus, I can just you know attack ten times. And if they have a blocker, eventually the blocker is going to die. And if it kills Nexus, it's okay, because Crucible will bring it right back, and I can keep attacking. The tentative sideboard that I'm using is two Engineered Explosives, uh, three Sun Droplet, three Tormod's Crypt, three Welding Jar, four Sealed Primordium. A weakness would be if somebody plays Blood Moon, then it turns off, turns off the Ghost Quarter. Or if somebody plays like Rest in Peace and Leyline of the uh, Void. In which case, again, Silver Primordium. That's the only reason why green is even in here. The uh, Blooming Marsh is for Silver Primordium. And the good thing about Silver Primordium is you don't have to hold it in your hand. You just play it, and you know if they draw it somehow, and they play their hate card, then it's okay. You just pop the seal and take it out. Uh, another good thing about this is this deck doesn't really lose to Stony Silence nearly as much because it's static effects. Uh, Mistress Bobble and Opal get turned off. Uh, Citadel gets turned off, but all the other stuff like Liliana is still going, and Snaring Bridge, Crucible, and Chalice all still work. Ghost Quarter still works. So I, uh, I don't know. I, I like it because it's got, like I said, all the strengths of Lantern, but none of the weaknesses. So I tested it a little bit. I made some like misplays and I missed triggers, but I wanted to put this out there for anybody who was interested. So I asked people on, oh man, wait a minute, okay, I can get rid of this quick, get rid of that, make this, that way it's a little bit bigger, maybe, right, and get rid of, there, make that a little bit smaller, there, and that way we got a little bit more room on here, and uh, I think I can do this full screen, can't I, yeah, control F, maybe that'll make it a little bit bigger too. Alright, so my opponent's on burn. Uh, pretty good hand, guide, McConnell, rift bolt, and lands. Uh, normally that'd be a pretty good hand against like lantern. Um, my opening hand, I have a chalice. I'm going to have a turn one chalice on one and a smallpox. <coughs> so this, yeah, turn one chalice on one. Uh, I drew the citadel, I believe. Um, I think, I don't remember. Uh, my problem here is I sacked these baubles and I forgot to draw the cards for them. And my opponent seemed kind of salty, so I didn't really ask them if they minded if I bring it back. So yeah, there's my uh, uh, there's a searing blaze that my opponent had on top. And this is where I forget to draw my two cards, which would have helped a lot here. Um, I wasn't sure what to do here, so I went with Liliana. And uh, I believe I did a uh, plus one, yeah. And that way my opponent would attack into the Coddle, and then I can all right, attack into Liliana, maybe waste a burn spell on it, and then I can smallpox and still be okay. But if I had drawn those two extra cards, this would be a much better hand right now. So yeah, there goes Liliana, taking one, and a Rift Bolt at Liliana, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Uh, Goblin Guide is already turned off thanks to Chalice. So now the only threat my opponent has is that Nakatl and whatever two mana cost burn spells they draw. 
So there's another smallpox. I don't need to play yet, though. Play my win con. So my opponent's already pretty locked out here. Uh, I go ahead and collect a brutality to get a discard in. And opponent takes two from Liliana's Caress. That Eidolon is unfortunate. Uh, yeah, I messed up there. I play the Mox Opal to play a smallpox. Um, so used to trying to get the most out of my mana. So I take an extra two that I didn't have to take. I could have just played smallpox and discarded the opal and been fine and only taken three. Uh, but yeah, I messed up there. So yeah, I'm going to take some damage there. I right, collect brutality for the life gain. Yeah, go ahead and tutor. And, uh, I, yeah, I believe I got a Liliana, so next turn I can do Liliana and start doing uh, discard mode with Liliana's Caress. And opponent's trying to empty their hand now so they don't take damage from the Caress. <clears throat> but, yeah, they're done to one. Another Talos on one. And, uh, really, the game's kind of over. Yeah, uh, crap. I didn't see what I played at the end there. But anyways, yeah, opponent gave up. I believe. I think. I don't remember. Crap balls. That went really fast. Um, Alright, so let's you play. Alright, so uh, again, I got a early chalice here, but the rest of the hands kind of eh. Uh, opponent has destructive revelry in their everlasting torment. I guess they expected me to bring in life gain. And I don't really have enchantment removal. I didn't cite it in against my opponent, so <clears throat> I mean I could have, but yeah. So uh, brutality, and I decide to uh, I go ahead and play brutality, start emptying my hand, uh, get some life in the discard mode going on. Uh, but opponent plays command in response, so I just get the revelry. That way my chalice doesn't get destroyed as soon as I I play it. So of course I get the revelry and they're stuck with a dead enchantment in their hand. I did side in sun droplets though. So yeah. <clears throat> and I'm just drawing lands now. And so is my opponent. Oh, so there's a Liliana. So I can start ticking her up. I uh, go to do the discard mode and then uh, took her up. Infernal Tutor, go get a Crucible, and then I just start taking out my opponent's lands. And what I want to do is cut them off of uh, green here. That way they can't do Destructive rev Revelry. So I've cut them off of green, and I'm still gonna like I'm all and now they've they would normally only run two basic two basic mountain, <clears throat> so now I'm completely cutting off their mana. But do discard mode, and uh, continue cutting them off of mana. I think my opponent actually won that last game. I think they top deck a burn spell to win it. Yeah. Oh, crap balls. What happened here? I forgot to do that thing to minimize it. But anyways, all right. So it's like 11.38 at night. I'm tired. All right. Um. Okay. Yeah, so I actually went 2-0, it looks like, last that last round. I went 2-0 against Burn. So it could be re-rolled here. So here we go. Um, double Crucible. Crucible is not as good against Burn, so I decided to go ahead and Mulligan, if I remember correctly. Did I? Okay. Oh, wait, no, because I have Brutality in hand. I kept it. Yeah. And uh, I think I did all three modes here. 
So kill the guide and discard in life gain. And uh, so of course I take a Tarkus command. I don't mind discarding the lands. Yeah, this time I remembered to draw it. Um, and uh, so I can play Crucible and just play my land from a graveyard. Unfortunately, my opponent does top deck an Eidolon here. So I start taking some damage. Uh, go ahead and do a Brutality. And I do the life gain mode too, so. And opponent top decks another Eidolon. So I take the two damage from Chalice. Really wishing I could get a. Uh, I can't play the bobble because I'll take damage. Really wishing I can get a bridge here. And I'm at six life. Opponent plays a second eye long and attacks for two. So there's no way for me to come back from that. <clears throat> so I just drew a ton of land. I might need to dump down on the land a little bit. But uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven land here. Uh, but oh well. So game two. I think I end up losing this match, but again, I misplay pretty hard here. Um, of course, I don't play my Val and Chalice first because I want to do Collective Brutality to, you know, pick apart my opponent's hand. Uh, make sure I get rid of that Brutality or Destructive Revelry. Now I'm still pretty much a noob at this deck, so. Um, I'm not sure what to play here, and I think what I did is I did a Liliana and minus two, yeah. And that way my opponent reader uh, starts burning Liliana instead of me. Yeah. So Chalice on one, and that starts cutting off my opponent's outs. I uh, do Crucible so I can start cutting off my opponent's uh, green mana. Yeah. And then cut off green again. And then opponent concedes. Because now I'm just going to cut them off of green mana and they're never going to be able to cast their artifact destruction. Alright, so let's get rid of this now. Oh, you know I can get rid of that too. Look at that. So really help out. There we go. Oh, well, sh I'm an idiot. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. There. Okay, it's a little bit better, I guess. Uh, yeah, I was trying to figure out if I was going to mulligan that. Um, so yeah, here's my keeper here. It's two lands, I'm a little worried, but I do have brutality, so there's that. <clears throat> and I do misplay you like really hard here. Oh, let me play. There we go. Yeah, I'm a total dummy here. There we go, a little bit faster. Alright, so Nakato. And this is where I'm a dummy. It's a 3 3. And I go to do brutality all three modes. Why am I going to do negative 2 on the Nakato? So that's just me being dumb. And I said it too. Like, I discredited my bridge for that. But, jeez. I'm a dummy. So now I really need to get a third land and get Liliana going. And I can't. So I die. So that was a misplay by me. So I won 2-0 versus Burn, and then I, even after a misplay on game one, and then I lost 1-2 uh, against Burn. But again, I misplay and uh, end up losing that one because of the misplay. Um, so, and I'll go ahead and do these real quick. This is a, I tried to ask for tier, but somebody played mono green stompy, I guess, sure, whatever. 
get rid of this. All right, so I keep because I have a Talus on one into a Collective Brutality, and I got three lands, so I can play Liliana and Crucible, and I got Ghost Quarter online. So that's pretty devastating against most decks. I mean, it's not as nuts as like the turn one Talus on one, but whatever. Do I have this sped up? I guess so. Oh yeah, my opponent was a little bit slow, but so turn two Talus on one. Uh, yeah. And, oh, yeah, and I mess up here. I should have done these two mana to kill the experiment one in the discard mode. Um, also, when I do this, I pick out my opponent's binds of Vastwood, which I guess doesn't really matter. Uh, I mean, my opponent could have tried to dismember their own experiment, or the, sorry, their own strangle root guys to get uh, a little bit more damage in. So it might have been right to get the dismember, maybe. I don't know. But either way, I, I did tap the mana wrong. And I picked uh, Vines of Vastwood to discard. Um, yeah. And the reason why I say I tapped my mana wrong is I could have ghost quartered my opponent's treetop village there. But either way, I take two. Um, Go ahead and play Liliana and do discard mode. I discard a land. I'm going to get back from Crucible anyways. So that's fine. So now I just need to draw a bridge soon. Uh, I do have a bobble here. I don't want to do Liliana quite yet. Go ahead and kill the True Dark Village now. And so I sag both bobbles so I can draw cards. Try to draw into that uh, bridge. And uh, a brutality, kill the avatar, and do the life gain mode to try to help me survive. Yeah. So yeah, this I search up for my bridge, and that's really like against. Uh, oh yeah, and I play a land from my graveyard so I can play in Snaring Bridge. And against them, that's the game. Like, my opponent starts and like continues to play it out. I guess trying to see what my win con is. I just don't draw it for a long, long time. And I figure, well, I mean, in the meantime, I can go and just ghost quarter the crap out of my opponent. And I just ghost quarter every single turn. When it goes to dried militant, but the chalice catches it. Smallpox starts cutting off my opponent's mana. Don't matter to me because I got crucible. And continue to ghost court. Yeah, I can't play a land from my graveyard this time because I played Herb Ward from my hand. So I play another smallpox. Go ahead and ghost quarter again. So the smallpoxes are really helping in, uh, you know, taking out opponent's lands too. Not that it would matter in this case, but so yeah, opponent concedes. We go to game two. Um, do that and that and that. All right. Um. Let's see. Can't, oh yeah, opponent kept and I kept because I got double bridge and Lily on and I got brutality to get their artifact destruction if they have any in hand. <clears throat> so I had almost like got a good little start there, but it's fine. I go ahead and uh, brutality just discard mode. I don't want to make the strangle root guys any bigger, and I grab that naturalize. So now I know I I just need to draw a land or a zero man a zero mana artifact, and I'll get that middle craft. And I draw a Mishra's Bobble, and I did side in Welding Jars, so I play the bridge. And now, you know, my opponent's pretty much locked out unless they draw uh, some sort of artifact destruction. So my main concern now 
is to uh, start killing off my opponent's creatures and ultimate Liliana so that they can't like top deck and discard spell and kill the crap out of me. Yeah. From there, do smallpox. And that way they can't like creeping corrosion me. So Liliana getting her to her ultimate. Okay, uh, Chalice on one uh, in case of like nature's claim or something. And ultimate Liliana now put her down to one and I give my opponent those choices. And of course they, they pick the creatures. Or, sorry, they suck the creatures, try to get the land so they can try to remove bridge I guess. I did side in sun droplets here. Because uh, I sided these in, and I took out three um, crucibles for three of these, uh, if I remember correctly, and I took out something else for welding jars, I forget what. But Oh, no, wait. No, I sided in three welding jars, took out the crucibles, brought in welding jars, and one sun droplet. Start making my opponent discard stuff. They brought in Relic, I guess, to shut off the whole, uh, you know, constant uh, ghost quarter thing. And now Caress starts dealing its damage. Um, yeah. Go for the smallpox, I'll take more damage. And I, I make my opponent sack a creature, so that way, if they draw more rancors or you know, whatever, a vines or aspect of Hydra, they have no targets and they're forced to discard with Liliana. And opponent pretty much like concedes here, there's no way out. Uh, I'm going to ultimate Liliana again and then you know, take out half their lands. <clears throat> and uh, they're going to be taking damage from Caress, and opponent concedes. Alright, so that is uh, the Crucible, uh, newest deck I came up with. I posted it to Twitter, posted it, I'm starting the primer on MTG Salvation, and uh, yeah, I'll be posting this to the YouTube channel, so it's not just Lantern Control anymore, I figure I'll work on this one. I'm this deck feels broken, it feels so broken. Um, I'm sure it can be tuned a little bit, especially the sideboard, but I can't think of like a really bad matchup. Uh, it's got so many, you know, just hate cards. Um, and again, I did include, and it's not just slowly on his caress, I did put in one copy of Ink Moth Nexus. Like, if my opponent gains infinite life, it still won't matter, because Ink Moth Nexus will take him out. And if they kill Ink Moth Nexus, it's okay, because. Uh, uh, tell us our uh, Crucible Worlds will bring it right back. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully we'll see this one take down the GP. <laughs> All right.